So tomorrow night is expected to be an election night unlike any before. If you're headed to the polls or just hunkering down at home to watch the results if you voted early, Vanessa Rufus has the information you need to know when she joins us now with that story all new tonight. More than 4.5 million North Carolinians have already cast their ballots. That's more than 60% of the state's total registered voters. And the State Board of Elections says that it expects to have 97% of votes counted by the end of election night. And those results come online after polls close at 7.30 in the evening, provided there aren't any sites still open. We will post results as quickly as possible, but our primary objective will be accuracy more than speed. In the Palmetto State, polls close at 7 p.m. and numbers will only come after that. Data shows more than 60% of South Carolinians have yet to cast their ballots. If that includes you, here's what you need to know. In-person voters in both Carolinas should go to their assigned polling places Tuesday. Each state's elections website has a feature to look that up. Remember, in North Carolina, you don't need a photo ID, but in South Carolina, you do. And accepted IDs include a driver's license, state voter registration card, or U.S. passport. If you're voting absentee, you can still mail your ballot in North Carolina as long as it's postmarked on election day and received by November 12th. You can also hand deliver it, but don't drop it at any polling site. Bring it to your county board of elections. South Carolina absentee voters should hand deliver their ballots to their county voter offices by 7 p.m. Tuesday. The election commission says at this point, it's likely too late to mail. Keep in mind the results we'll start to get on election night aren't official until they are certified by the states in the coming weeks. After election night, officials will continue to count any remaining ballots. They'll do post-election audits and any necessary recounts. Officials stress that this has always been the process. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.